I am Madrina. I am the daughter of a mother who's mentally ill. I am the daughter of a father I've never known. I am the baby of six children from three different men. I am the sister of a murderer who's serving a life sentence. I am the sister of drug addicts, drug dealers, violent offenders. I am a drug addicted high school dropout, a shoplifter, and a gangbanger. I am a handcuffed, shackle wearing, juvenile delinquent. I'm a promiscuous teenage mother and an angry, raging, violent young woman. I am untrusting and paranoid. I have felt suicidal, manipulated, neglected, brainwashed, exploited, abandoned, rejected, used, verbally and emotionally abused. And I am a survivor and a boundary maker and a cycle breaker. I am an international teen model in Honolulu in Tokyo. I've been in movies, magazines, and commercials. I am a loving mother and a spoiling grandmother. I am a multi-home owner and a luxury car driver. I'm a best of the coast spa winner and a clothing store owner. I am a money maker and a record breaker. I am a leader, a board member, a chairwoman, an event planner, a community volunteer, and a philanthropist. I feel balanced and blessed and bold and loved, respected, accepted, protected. I am a game changer. I am the keeper of my sisters. I am a force to be reckoned with, and I am fierce. This is my story. Do you have one? Let me share with you why those collection of words actually came to be. Several years ago, I got a phone call from the executive director of my school. And she asked me to come and share my why. Why is it that I am so passionate about this school? I'd been there for the better part of a decade, volunteering my time, donating my resources, and bringing my friends along to do the same. You see, it's a school for at-risk teen young girls. They're not in public school for various reasons. Some of them come from challenged backgrounds, broken homes, neglect, addictions, abuse. Seemed like a natural fit for me, so I've dedicated my time to this school. But I remember that phone call. I remember immediately accepting that call to action and that opportunity to come and share my why. I'm not prone to turn down opportunities. That one was no different. I said yes. I hung up the phone. And I began to weep. Because it was impressed upon me that 
It seemed like yesteryear. I was an at-risk teen young girl. And now today, I get to share my message to these girls. I wanted the words that I spoke to be so profound. I wanted them to see past my shiny exterior today and what I've become. And I wanted them to know that I was one of them. That the challenges that they're facing, I've stared at them. The pain that they're carrying, I've dealt with it. I wanted them to see and know that irregardless of their station today in life, it did not have to dictate where they could go tomorrow, who they could be, or the things that they could accomplish. I'm that living proof. You see, your environment as a young child will shape you and mold you, good and bad. If you come from an environment of overachievers or individuals who've placed a priority on higher education and you've gone to college and you've done things, you're mimic that environment that you're brought up in. You adapt to that and you learn those ways. If you're brought up in an environment full of drugs and violence and abuse, and anger, you mimic that. And I was no different. I said I was an angry, raging, violent young woman, handcuffed and shackled, and that's no joke. It is not that easy to be a cycle breaker. Sounds easy. But it's very difficult to flip that script in your mind. The one that says, who are you? What do you have to offer? What do you think you can bring to the table? But you can flip that script. You can break those cycles. And you can change. I am that living proof. Probably some of my earlier service to the community when I was a small child. As dysfunctional as my upbringing was, my mother instilled in me serving others. I think oftentimes when people are in pain, they serve others to help ease their own. So my mother implanted in me the spirit of giving back. We would walk the streets of Waikiki and Honolulu and feed the hungry and deliver a message of hope. I started that here in Pensacola with my local little theater. I was asked to join the board there and to be instrumental in their fundraisers. I'd never done it before. I didn't know what a board was. I didn't know the responsibilities of a director or a trustee, but I walked through those doors I sat at those tables. I surrounded myself with people that previously I had thought they were better than me. They were smarter. They came from a normal family. What is it that you have to offer, Madrina? Well, you know what I learned? I have a lot to offer. They're no smarter, they're no better. I learned that I am able and I already came equipped from above to do and succeed in everything that I put my heart to. So when I say that volunteering saved my life, what I mean is that it made me a better person. It changed the trajectory of my life. I had developed characteristics that probably not very proud of this day, shaped from my youth. I later learned that those characteristics were defense mechanisms to 
mask the real insecurities and fears that I was carrying, carrying on the inside. Despite what I looked like on the outside, I faced those same insecurities that many of you listening today have. And it's like moving a mountain to flip that script in your mind. To say that I do have something to offer. But I stayed in those boardrooms and I'm proud to say today that I probably have an affiliation with 15 different nonprofit organizations. I volunteer my time, my resources, I bring my friends. I have a village of volunteers who want to give back and be included. Through serving others, I found my true calling in life. My passion to give back, to help the underserved, but to lead by example. So when you think to yourself, who am I? What do I have to give? A lot, it turns out. I was full of self-doubt. I wondered, well, I didn't go to college. I don't have a fancy vocabulary. I didn't know the ins and outs of the charity world the way I do now. Through giving back, I became kinder, more understanding, more empathetic, smarter because I mimicked the women and men that were around me. Today, I proudly hold responsibilities that are great. I make executive decisions. I'm even the membership chair of a local all-women's philanthropic organization that happens to be the largest chapter in the world. And they depend on me. And I want to deliver. So my message to you today is that Cycle breaking is difficult. But we can all achieve it. I'm that living proof. You don't have to be a big check writer. You don't have to be born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Have the right resume. Or the right credentials. You just have to have it in your heart. It has to be a genuine passion of yours. And through giving back, I've been able to experience some of the greatest things in my life that five brothers and sisters of mine cannot say. I'm the first one in my family to graduate from high school. And that's where our education stops. But it doesn't have to limit you. I'm that living proof. Now I get to dine in mansions, sail on yachts. I even won the Key Influencer Award. You know what that means? That means that I flew in an F-18 fighter jet with the United States Navy Blue Angels. Less than 1% of people in the world can even say that. And I earned that from serving others. From giving back. I have this saying, my village of volunteers know it. Get in where you fit in. That means do what you can, when you can, with what you have, whenever you can. No action is too small. I didn't write big checks. I didn't come from family lineage that said that this is the big pillar of the community. Fortunately, today, I can say that I am a respected citizen of my community. 
And I did it through serving others, through giving back. It can change your life. What's your story? What cycles do you need to break? What are the insecurities that are playing out in your mind? That you have nothing to offer? Where well, I'm here to tell you that is not true. Each and every single one of us have a lot to offer. I am that living proof. And I am Madrina Siano. Thank you.